Hi guys, TJ here. So, I thought I'd do another video for you. I'm in a great mood. Just come back from the gym. I'm feeling ripped. Yeah. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you about something that's really important to me. And this is something I, I, I overemphasize. In fact, some people hate me for it because this is all I bloody talk about. So number one, if your service accommodation trainer or mentor has not taught you how to deal with parties, fraud, escorts and prostitutes as part of the service accommodation business, then I want you to question whether you've actually been taught about the business. Because if all they've done is told you all the juicy and the, and the glossy parts, then I think you might be getting yourself in a little bit of trouble. I tried to say that in an American accent, just didn't work. Go back to your trainer and say, hey, this crazy guy with crazy hair on YouTube said, why haven't you taught me how to deal with escorts, how to deal with fraud, how to deal with uh, prostitutes, how to deal with parties? Look, I will think about this. Now, I'm going to try and create some crazy analogy. No, in fact, I'm not going to because it's just not going to work. I can hear my brain saying, TJ, stop right now. It's not going to make sense. But if you don't know how to deal with these things and these are things that I guarantee guarantee so it's not it might happen or it will happen I guarantee you I don't care what systems you've got in place or whoever's told you you have a foolproof system you are likely so I didn't say you're not likely out of 100% you are likely so 70% and above likely to encounter one of these four things I mentioned before so if you don't know how to deal with those things then Good luck to you because you're going to struggle. Now, you have to understand, and this is me being completely open and honest with you, in most buildings, especially in London, you're not going to get a building that's really excited about you running a service accommodation business in there. So in, in fact, in most buildings, you're not going to find um, a leasehold that's really exciting and embracing a service accommodation operator in there. So what you don't want to do is get a property, become a victim of a big massive party or become a victim of a big massive escort or prostitution ring and then the management company find out and guess what they're going to do? They're going to throw you out of that building. So that is a reality of what could happen in this business. Are there systems to put in place? Of course there are. Are there foolproof systems to put in place? No, don't believe the hype. It can happen to anyone, but what you can do is reduce the likely chance of it happening to you if you know that it's going to happen. And of course, there are things you can put into place, but you have to know about them first. So again, don't believe the hype. Don't believe all the glossy, juicy stuff that, hey, just get a property, stick it on Airbnb, and you're going to be making a thousand pounds per month. Hey, it doesn't happen. I wish you all the best, guys. Catch you soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.